Yeah, hello, welcome back. Today I have a really simple 3x3 door for you guys. This is a spiral 3x3. So that means it has a pretty neat animation whenever you open and close it. It also has a built-in T flip-flop, so you can just walk into the other side, get this lever, and you can open and close it from this side too. So it doesn't matter which side of the door you are, you could always open and close it. Either lever. So let's go look at it with all the blocks on top. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, I made it two blocks wide this time. I did make a one wide version, except I decided that was too tall. It was up to here. And it was just a lot fatter. So the two wide, it seems to fit a lot better within the piston constraints. And I honestly think it's faster too. Because I was able to fit in the redstone lamp. Uh, double piston at the bottom so I got it to have the fastest opening I could with the size I made it. This should be everything you'll need. Pretty small door so there's not many items to it. But let's begin. To start off we're gonna want to pick a spot for the center of the door. Put down two sticky pistons facing straight up, a block, and two blocks on the side. This is where your floor is and now if you want this side to be the one that's flat we're going to go to the other side and put another two blocks because this door is two blocks wide. And then we're going to build three up like that, three across, then three up again. So this is where all the blocks of the door is and so you can see where it kind of sits. So let's begin. So we're going to start off on this side. This is the flat side of the door. We're going to have a observer facing to this top piston. Just like that, with a lever on the back of the observer. This is where your input is. Now from the right of the lever, two observers. If you go below this observer, have it reading this one pointing straight down. And from the one pointing straight down, go back another two. Sticky piston here, with an observer there. Redstone, or a block here with redstone dust on top. And reading this redstone dust, have an observer pointing to the top one. Okay. Take a block, place it in front of this observer with another block here. Now take your redstone lamp, place it underneath this blue block, and an observer reading the redstone lamp, and then another one pointing to the right. Note block here, and an observer facing straight up, reading this note block. Now you can have a sticky piston right next to this blue wall. Uh, facing the iron block like that and a piece of redstone dust right here If we flick the lever You can see this is how the center blocks are controlled This last circuit is the green circuit This is the one that controls all the pistons on the outside that do the spiral effect So if we go to the side with the redstone lamp, we're gonna put two sticky pistons Right there facing the iron blocks and do the exact same on the other side I go to the top and have another three sticky pistons facing straight down. This is also on the side that is completely flat. Go to where the redstone lamp is and have a note block diagonal to it with an observer facing straight up into this piston. From this redstone lamp, another two observers with a block here and a note block there. Observer facing the note block straight up into a block another block there and a block here redstone dust there redstone dust here and redstone dust here now if you take an observer reading this redstone dust it points into this one with a note block there and then another observer here you place a block there and there and from where this green block is have an observer facing straight down above these two pistons and Diagonal to where this observer is, we're going to have another two, just like that. And if you put in your redstone, one here, just make like a little U like that, and put a block here. Now if you flick the lever, you can see that is actually the entire door. And before I go, I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to connect this door. So let's say we have a lever right here. You could hide this on the wall or whatever. Pretty much what you're going to do is on the opposite side of this lever, we're going to put a note block and a observer. 
then you can just connect this with a line of redstone dust and fix anything that is broken. There you go. Now if you want to do it on this side, exact same thing, no block, an observer somewhere, and then just run a line of redstone that connects to the other one. But make sure to not have a redstone line running right here or else it will power this piston. Just connect that up like that. That's how you control it from this side and on this side. Okay, thanks for watching.